Hi, this is Thunder Yee from MotorWork.com and today I have a very cool video to show you. This is from one of our fans of Motor Work, Nick, who is the winner of the Kingston 120GB SSD in our 5th anniversary giveaway. And he's going to be showing you how to install that SSD with an Optibay into your MacBook Pro. So check it out and enjoy. Hello, this is Nick doing a guest video for BoardAtWork.com. In this video I'll be doing an unboxing, an installation and a review of a particularly interesting product that's been around for quite a few years now uh, in different versions but I'm only finally getting to see exactly what this does and what this is is an OptiBay some of you may know what this is but if not I'll explain briefly it's 2012 and I can't remember the last time I used the DVD drive in my MacBook Pro so what I'm gonna do with this OptiBay is I'm going to I'm going to open up my MacBook Pro, I'm going to remove the DVD drive, and I'm going to install this OptiBay, with, which is a basically a rig that allows you to fit a, a 2.5 inch laptop drive of some sort into the place where the DVD drive used to be. Considering the DVD drive hooks up via SATA, uh, a, a drive will hook up in just the same way and then you can use that as a boot volume, extra storage, or whatever else. For me, I'm going to be using an SSD that I won through Board at Works giveaway in conjunction with Kingston to be my new boot drive, and I'm going to slowly transition my content, the relevant content, onto the boot drive and keep content such as media um, and large applications on the uh, the 500 gigabyte hard drive that I have in there right now. So, without further ado, let's get this thing open and see what's in the box. First is an installation guide that comes on CD. I find it kind of funny how they have the old Mac logo there. It's pretty good. Um, I believe this is the installation guide, and it also, I believe, has a script that you can run to allow the DVD drive, a DVD drive that plugs in externally via USB, to play DVDs through Apple's DVD program. Here's the OptiBay itself. Piece of metal. That has uh, that comes with the, the relevant tools and uh, and screws needed to install it. Uh, we'll put that aside for a sec, and I'll come back to that in a moment. And here's the last thing that this kit comes with, which is extremely useful. By the same company that makes the OptiBay, MCE, they also make this this brilliant piece of equipment. Let me get this open. I'll show you what it is. It is an external enclosure for the Super Drive that is currently in my MacBook Pro. What this will allow me to do is still get the functionality uh, for the for the super drive um, once uh, once I have uninstalled it. It plugs in via uh, two USB ports. I think one's for power. Uh, let's see. Yep, right there. One's for power, uh, and it goes micro. Uh, no, mini USB. It's old uh, old school. Uh, mini USB goes into this uh, the super drive enclosure. So that'll be, I'll install that and uh, once I pull the SSD out of my computer. Let's see now, the actual OptiBay, let's pull this out. Oh, it's sol It's much more solid than I thought. Oh yeah, okay, so I see why, this is. This was a, um, this is I think roughly a $40 product. Um, I thought it was just a piece of metal, but now I see that I'm not correct about that. It actually has an inbuilt SATA port. Um, and is partially is, is metal where it needs to be in plastic and other places and contains the valid screws for inserting a drive which will be my SSD I'll detail that process in a separate video though uh, and also in here I believe are the screws and the tools needed to install this yep screwdrivers and screws of sorts and then lastly what appears to be a pen of some sort is actually a screwdriver, wonderful. I wonder if there's anything else in here. Yep, <laughs> double-ended screwdriver. I believe this is, will be useful in the installation process. They they do give you everything they need you need to install this, so I believe that'll be fine. All right, now that uh, everything's unboxed, uh, see you for the installation. Before I do the uh, the taking apart of my MacBook Pro and the removal of the DVD drive and the insertion of the OptiBay, I just wanted to show you guys what the OptiBay looks like with the SSD installed in it. Uh, just went right in. There are screws on the sides here and here, and same on the uh, on the other side, right about 
there. So that's how we got that in from the side. It's in here really solidly, plugged into uh, SATA on this side. And the SATA port that connects to where the DVD drive was is right here. So I'll be doing that install shortly, and I'll film that. So here's the MacBook Pro with the DVD drive removed. Here's the super drive that was in the computer. I just, I didn't want to make you go through the entire process of watching me unscrew all these little screws, but this is what the bay looks like when it's empty. You can see the screw points on the side, and here's where the old slot was for the DVD drive. Soon, the OptiBay is going in. So here it is, the OptiBay installed with the Kingston 120 gigabyte solid state hard drive and soon I'll put the case back on, boot up, and then see where it goes from there.